Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm the vegetable gardener at Great Dixter and author of the Great Dixter cookbook and also grow, in, grow fruit and vegetables in pots. And today I'm just going to give you a little tour of the kitchen courtyard here at Great Dixter and what I'm doing with vegetables and fruit in pots um, and how it can be a decorative space. So first of all, I'm going to start off with these old apple crates, um, which we've got growing mint in and lemon verbena. And in the middle of the mint, there's a pear tree, uh, which look, is great fun. Uh, I've just got to make sure when the uh, mint is growing f f more vigorously than the pear, that the pear has a chance to get up through. Uh, and then one of the great pots I love a huge amount is this root pouch bag. Um, this is a fabric bag from Oregon and really good size. And I've got a mixed crop in here. I've got lettuces, um, coriander, broad beans in the center, violas of course um, snuck all around uh, and that this I'll change out through the season. Uh, we've got um, spring onions flowering there in front, we've got some more coriander and violas in a pot here uh, and the chard, this is last year's chard, we usually get a year out of the chard so this is just going to seed now, I'll eat the seeds. Uh, one of the things I'm most looking forward to this summer is the uh, blueberries they're in flower now and next to that is some figs uh, which do very well in a pot because they liked their roots constrained uh, of course there's bay uh, tree in a pot um, does very well with uh, salvia at the base some rosemary uh, also gooseberries uh, and you can see if you look closely you can see the little uh, fruit developing on that uh, we eat them when they're still green and hard uh, they're much bitter more bitter then and uh, we'll make them into fall uh, more rosemary last year's uh, curly leaf parsley in a pot and this has got a um, golden delicious apple and above it peach tree above that and and yet another fig um, and this fig is in the root pouch bag as well and they love being on these sunny walls and then um, on this side we've got an apple tree trees do very well in pots um, it's on dwarf stock so it's not going to get very big and at the base of that we've got um, behind the salvia we've got this poppy um this is bread seed poppy i love making bread and so i'll keep the seeds uh for using in bread uh and um in behind here you can see we've got beets in, in this old galvanized trough and growing up against the wall there is peas um, another fig tree um, with curly leaf um, parsley around the edge flat leaf parsley down in that pot uh, with marigolds. Um, I really like that orange and green combination. Uh, we've got the pot ready for the tomatoes to go in. I always put my steaks in first. Um, I put the steak in first and then the plants and that way you're not going to uh, disturb the roots um, of the plant when you stake them. Uh, sorrel in a pot, rhubarb, we've taken the forcer off the rhubarb now uh, and uh, we'll eat them just like that. They'll be very good. I'll probably make some gin out of that later today. And coming through, we've got another apple. Um, this is golden delicious um, in a pot and uh, another root pouch actually. Um, more, so um, more of the chard here in this pot um, and this has got violas as well. Viola is the plant that I have as a sort of theme that runs through the uh, display and it's the, the plant that joins them all together. Uh, over the back here we've got carrot seeds that I've put in and I've put um, some spring onions around them um, just to foil the smell of the carrots for the carrot fly. Um, so they're in a tall uh, pot, they're above cent uh, 60 centimeters, so that should keep away the carrot fly. And the last uh, pot we've got here, the old trough, is, has, is an apricot tree, and at the base of that is alpine strawberries, uh, which I absolutely adore uh, in the summer, um, straight from the plant.